We are knocking down, I believe, five structures, um, either houses or, or sheds. Uh, one's a shed, the rest are were at some time houses. We're putting some siding on, putting some windows in, uh, working on some fascia boards. Um, we are also planting some flowers, um, doing some cleanup of some places. We're painting a house. Uh, we are doing a lot of weed trimming and tree trimming and things like that. But it is a transformation of the community, not just of the buildings that we're tearing down and cleaning up or the things that we're working on, but a transformation in the relationships. I, I tell you what, the fact that you've come together, you can do it. And uh, all of Indiana is looking at you for direction. Today was the kickoff meeting for the Faith, Hope, and Love area coordinators. And uh, I really wish I had a chance to meet everybody, but it was good to be inspired about what we needed to accomplish and what the organization is about. And I'm energized, get the year kicked off and, and get focused and get our team together uh, and start meeting with churches and, and getting everybody together so that we can pull our people together and have a wonderful Faith, Hope, and Love week. This is a giant zucchini here at Midwest Food Bank. We're partnering with them uh, with the Garden of Hope. Can you imagine, we just uh, thought about this garden back in February, and today they already harvested more than 2,200 pounds of food. And look at this, I've never seen a big zucchini like this. It's amazing! That's right, Merlin, we're very excited to be here today. We're in the Brightwood community. We're just north of where Extreme Makeover was shot just a couple months ago, and it's exciting. Today we have IUPUI students here coordinating with Faith, Hope, and Love to put, uh, to put action here on the ground. They're going to be doing some painting, and we're going to be covering that. I know as separate churches, we have our own ministries, we have our own programs, but to be able to get together as a community of believers and uh, functioning as the body of Christ, it made a big impact on me and our church and our community. We were able to go into uh, a depleted area of our town and do projects, all of it volunteer, and uh, we were able to see the, the very attitude of that community to completely change. And it was because the body of Christ worked as the body of Christ. We went in, showed the love of Christ. There was no charge to the people. Uh, we benefited them. And so again this year, it's a real privilege to be able to be involved. The theme is uh, showing the unconditional love of Christ. And I'm hoping that that's what we'll be able to do. That we'll be able to be Jesus in shoe leather so that they can see what the body of Christ is supposed to be. Churches working together uh, to be able to improve the lives of individuals and hopefully show them through our love that Jesus loves them. We want you to get involved.